Oh my gosh, y'all. I just did the entire video and wasn't actually recording anything. So I'm going to redo it all. <laughs> um, I just got my August yarn of the box in the mail and it's August 2nd. And that is the fastest I have ever gotten my box. So let's look at what is in the August box. Uh, our extra goodie pouch, the um, insert card will tell you what is in the box. If you use your smartphone to hover your camera over the QR code, you'll be taken to our inside Yarnable web page and you will be able to find direct links to the extra goodies if you want some more information about those. So the three extra goodies in our box is a reusable dishcloth from Swedish dishcloths. Basically, this is a reusable paper towel and it can be reused many, 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 many times. Um, and you simply can wash it with other towels in your washing machine, or you can put it in your dishwasher to wash it. Um, and the second goodie, oh, I'll just let me show you. So here's the dishcloth and it's kind of, um, kind of feels like a super heavy duty paper towel and it's very absorbent. Like I said, it can be reused basically until it like degrades on its own, which is a lot. Like you'll get a lot of use out of one of these. And it has little llamas on it. And not only is the August yarn box a llama theme, but um, it's color theme as well. So the second goodie is a project bag tag from Katrinkles and it says this knitting bag belongs to and then you can put your name and phone number down here. Now please remember that wood is porous so any marker including sharpies will bleed. It is very important that you only use a ballpoint pen. No felt tips, nothing marker like because um, then it'll just be a big mess all over your wooden tag. If you knit in public, um, I think this is really awesome to have. I know I do. I always try to have my belongings with me, but you never know what will happen. So this way, if you lose your bag, it can make its way back to you. So I will probably, um, I don't have a ballpoint pen on me, but I'll end up writing my name and my phone number so that, you know, if something crazy happens, I don't lose my project because that would be like the saddest day ever. <laughs> All right. So the last extra goodie are stone car coasters. And it says, don't bring the drama, be a no drama llama. And these are um, the perfect size to put in your car coaster. And um, the stone is absorbent, so you don't have like a bunch of moisture and condensation all in your car. But if you do, you have a reusable paper towel <laughs> and you should have two of these. And that's um, also orange, which ends up matching the yarn. All right, let me put that back together and put all my goodies away so I don't lose them until I can use them. I, in a day or two, whenever I clean my bathroom, I'm going to use this as um, to clean, like in lieu of a sponge, basically. And so whenever I come back for the second part of my video, whenever I knit up some of the yarn, I'll let you know what I think about the reusable cloth in this box. And then as always, you can scratch off the monthly coupon code down here. Please remember that the coupon code is valid at hypnoticyarn.com only. It um, will, it, um, the coupon code is not valid on your yarnable box. Okay, now the yarn. So the yarn is called Sweet and Sour. And as you can see, it's the same colors as the, the dishcloth. So we have orange and like a blush pink. And then I would probably call that like a, 
a dark salmon, probably. And then of course there's some speckles. Now, as I've done the past two months, I'm going to make a pair of socks. I have a picked out a pattern. I'm going to use um, the latest sock pattern from Dragon Horde Yarn. It's called Vintage Riding Socks. I, I believe that is the, the correct name, but I will link it down below um, whenever I post up this video so you can find that pattern as well. All right, so I'll be back in a couple of days after I've had time to knit a little bit and so you can see what it looks like knitted up and I will let you know what I think about um, these. I'm very excited to use it. All right, see y'all later. Hello. All right, I am back with the start of my August sock. I am using a, a sock pattern by Dragon Horde Yarn. It's called Vintage Riding Socks. And, all right, so, the August colorway is called Sweet and Sour, and this is what the yarn looks like wound. I, we moved about two months ago, and I have not been able to find my Swift, so I actually hand wound <laughs> this ball, and I realized, uh, thankfully, hand winding this one went well, because sometimes it can be a pure disaster, but um, anyway, I ordered a new Swift, so I have it now, but I hand wound this ball. And uh, so here's what it looks like wound. Um, let's get that back in there. And here's what it looks like knitted as my sock. So there we go. Uh, and you can see the design. I changed some of the design and I will explain why. So that's stockinettes and it looks very pretty with the design. It's a little more um, like mixed up a little bit. I prefer my socks to be knit with 56 stitches and the pattern, the smallest size was 60 stitches, which is fine um, and that's also what fit the 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 pattern design that she has I didn't really want to do that so I really wanted to uh, use 56 stitches so I um, removed some of the the stitches of, uh, in in the pattern and then I also removed the bobbles so mine don't have bobbles but on in the real pattern she does so the edges here, of my sock are slightly different than the pattern since I had to remove two stitches from the instep and from the sole. Otherwise there should be a little bit more uh, like design elements along the sides, but the middle, I love the, like the V's. Um, so that's what it looks like knit as my sock. I love the colors to me. These are very like happy colors and I can't wait to finish my socks. Hopefully soon I'm at a part now I'm going to do the the heel flap um, and she uses German short rows for hers and which I've never done on a sock so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Whenever I am finished with my socks I always post them in the Hypnotic Yarn Facebook group. If you aren't a member of the group please come join us. I'll link the the group down below if you want to join there are two questions upon joining. Please, please answer the questions. That's how I know you're not a robot and that you actually want to be a part of the group. All right, I will see y'all next month for September. Have a great day.